97.8. Sounds like a radio station. 97.8. Car Contadors FM. I know, that was bad. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I have finally, <clears throat> after searching for a very long time, um, found my very first Carcardontosaurus. Car 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 yeah. We're just going to call him a carch. Uh, it's only a level 20, but, I mean, this is literally, I kid you not, the very first one I have found on this map after killing, I don't know, an un untold number of gigs. Um, so it's up on the volcano. It's inside the caldera, but really close to the, you know, the pathway leading out of it. Um, and um, yeah, so we're going to, obviously we can't see it from here. Um, so we're going to uh, make preparations to capture that. Uh, I'm ultimately going to need a male and a female anyway to get the egg. Uh, because that way we can, you know, have the egg for the uh, Rhino Anatha, the next Rhino Anatha that we're going to tame. So, um, also, I am now on my new machine uh, with my my i9 uh, 47900K processor and uh, what is it, the 4070 Ti Super Card, and I can now play this game on maximum epic settings um, and still have good frames. However, I have been I have been turning down the uh, what is it the global illumination quality I have it on medium because I just don't like all of the extra crap that the lighting adds into the game when that turned up it, it's uh, it's not immersive it looks like shit and it makes things hard to see uh, we've got a we've got a um, spino down there uh, so let's go grab that thing first for its sale. Um, and yeah, so I know, <laughs> no, it's been a while, uh, you know, since I had the, the last episode and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that I have been, um, hopping on the game and flying around looking for a carch, uh, and have been unsuccessful until now. Um, and secondly, what in the hell? Secondly, I've been, um, playing and just thoroughly enjoying Enshrouded. Um, so if you guys have not seen my Enshrouded series and you're interested, uh, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. I'm just really enjoying the game. Um, you know, Ark, and I mentioned this in the last episode, this series is kind of unfortunately in slow mode right now, uh, mostly because of the fact that, you know, I'm just at that point where there's not a whole lot more for me to do until... I get my army built up enough to take on um, the Overseer. Um, we could probably do the Gamma Overseer right now, um, and I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still going to keep that as an option. But I, I'm pretty sure, and I mentioned this in the last episode, I'm pretty sure we can handle, we can do Alpha Overseer as long as we prepare for it. So I would rather take more time um, and do that and prepare for it. And so that way we can we can actually do it on alpha and you know have the bragging rights I suppose. <laughs> uh, but what that means is you know that it's just going to take me a lot of off camera time you know continuing the breeding process um, and episodes will kind of be few and far between um, for now. Now when the center comes out and definitely when scorched earth comes out, I am planning on doing a series uh, on those and and that. And, and we'll probably do them simultaneously in parallel while we continue, you know, keeping this series going too until I'm ready to, you know, finally defeat the Overseer. So that's kind of my, you know, what's in my thinking right now. And, um, yeah, so just wanted to let everybody know that that's what's going on. Uh, but it sure is nice to be able to play this game on Epic Graphics uh, and not have any frame issues. It just runs smooth as a baby's butt, man. It's awesome. Uh, okay, so... For preparation, I already have, I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not, but I already have in here um, several giga eggs that are like 10 seconds or so from ha ready to hatch. Now, my understanding is that I cannot pick up and, and drag a dead baby giga 
Uh, but what I can do is I can hatch these and have them uh, just a little ways away from the carch. And once we, um, you know, can get on it and, and start taming it, then we just go over and eat them and put, boom, it's tamed up. Uh, that's the that's the, the theory anyways. The thing is, though, is because this is just a level 20, I'm half tempted to hang on to those eggs and wait for something bigger. But here again, it's not that hard for me to make more of those. It just takes a long time is all. And um, my uh, oviraptor down by those gigas is probably just jam-packed with fertilized eggs that I just you know haven't gotten around to get to yet. So we'll kind of, you know, uh, uh, we'll kind of play that one by ear, I suppose. But what we definitely want to do is we want to take Rexes because for whatever crazy ass reason, uh, I can pick up and drag a Rex corpse. So I've got a bunch of Rex eggs here incubating. They're about 21 minutes out. So what we'll do is we'll pick those up right before, you know, right before they're ready to hatch and take them with us um, and then go up and see if we can nab that thing. Now, um, what I'm also going to do, and I've seen this happen. Oh, I got this weird graphics glitch, though, where my... See, the, it does like this little checkered thing on um, on wooden structures that are just in the near distance there. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but whatever. Um, I also got that mod, that new mod, where it'll turn glass, uh, you know, greenhouse glass into smooth glass. Um... Not even sure how that works unless you just make it. I, I didn't even honest to be honest with you, I didn't even read up on it. I just saw it and grabbed it. That's all I have to figure that out. Uh, maybe we just make it in here. Let's take a quick look. If we uh yeah, if we go to greenhouse, uh, no not greenhouse structures, and then greenhouse. Uh oh, did I not I must not have relearned the Ing Ingram for that. If we type in glass, no Let's go greenhouse. Yeah, let's learn that, Ingram. And then structures. Maybe what I do is I make it, and then there's just an option to turn it to smooth. Okay, let's set it down, and then if I hold E on it... No, okay, I'm going to have to figure out how that works. It might be... now. Actually, you know what I think about it? It might be... A cosmetic thing, but I don't see anything there. So, that is, you know, definitely very low priority right now. Um, so, I'll, I'll mess around with that later. But, anyway, I did, I did grab that mod, and then I grabbed a mod that, you know, gives you some other deco items and stuff like that, too. Let's put this in here. And, um, so yeah, what I want to do is I want to make, <clears throat> excuse me, um, several metal gateways because, uh, unless this has been patched out, which is certainly, you know, possible that it has been, um, but you can actually trap the, uh, carch inside of, you know, metal gates and then, and still feed it. So that way you're not chasing it all over the countryside. And, you know, if it's been patched out, it's been patched out, we'll have to do it the hard way, but let's, um... Let's just see what happens here. So I want to go here, metal, and it looks like I need to relearn that Ingram too, just from the last time we did a respec. So let's go to gate, and we want metal gateway. And I, we don't really need the metal gate for, for what we're going to do here. Then we'll go to structures and metal, and I don't know how many of these we'll need. Probably, I don't know, four to six. So let's make eight in total, or have eight in total, just because it's better to have too many than not enough, right? And then we also want to make the large bear trap, because that way it holds it in place long enough you know, for you to... Put the the wall in to trap it and let's make um a couple of these actually you know what i want to have a few more on hand anyway so let's make a total of five <coughs> okay so um we could i i could either just take a bunch of standing torches or we could take a generator and I think I think a Rex egg requires 
three, maybe four Jennies. Or, or, I'm sorry, not Jennies. Air conditioners to hatch. Whoops. Okay, so we already have a, a generator on hand, so that's good. And let's also grab some fuel for that. Don't need that much. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so... Um, and then we're going to need air cons. Do I have any extra air conditioners? I have one. Okay, good. Um, you know, we could actually test that theory. Let's go ahead and... Just grab one of these. And get it away from the air conditioner. Of course, it also kind of depends upon the... Um, it depends upon what I'm trying to say. My brain's not working. Oh, the temperature outside, too. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you know why? Because I have the foliage thing on now. The tree's moving. Oh, weird, man. Okay. Because, you know, when I had my previous rig, I, I had that all turned off because it was causing crashes. I don't, even, I don't know. They might have actually fix that by now, but man, I, I kind of don't like that. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Whatever. We'll uh, we'll deal with it. Um, let's just... Do, 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 do. Man, I'm just, I'll make a couple some more. It's They're not that expensive. we got lots of resources. I was going to maybe jack one of those air conditioners that are already in there, but I don't really want to have to then reset it later. Oh, I guess we have to learn it first. That's what happens when you respect all the time. Then you have to relearn everything. Not as a big, not that it's a big deal. I just learn it when I need to. Okay, I'm. Let's see, we got lots of crystal. We got lots of metal. We got lots of electronics. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's make have a total of four. Just in case the weather happens to get really cold or really hot when the time comes for us to want to, you know, actually do this. Okay, so those are cooking up. Got that in there. Okay, cool. Um, not a whole lot more to update you on in terms of, you know, the breeding. It's just happening, and I'm continuing to make stronger and stronger theories. My, my plan, here's my plan. I, I don't know if I've shared this with you either, but my plan for the um, the tech cave, well, for the whole thing, is I'm going to ride a karch, and I'm going to have a little patrol of Rexes um, behind me to deal with the tech cave. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, an army of Therys, <coughs> excuse me, following behind, and, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to figure out the best way to do that in as organized a fashion as possible. You know, that's our boss fighting army down there. Um, and I don't know, I might I might even bring a UD in there too, just because the UDs can pull the Perlovias out. But if I stay in the carts, I don't think the Perlovias are going to be a problem for me anyways. And you know, so use the use the the carch and the Rexes to clear the cave, and then once we get to the boss, you know, then we use the Therys to take the boss out. That's my, t my my tentative plan. So, if you guys happen to know in the comments if they've patched it out to where you can't bring a carch in there, because I've always thought that was kind of weird. Why would they let you bring a carch in there and not like a Giga, you know? Um, but if that is still, if you can still do that, let me know in the comments. Because if you can't. I'd rather know that now than later after doing all the prep because then we'll have, we'll have to kind of change our plans. Um, a plan B might be instead of uh, you know instead of a karsh if we can't get it in there for me to you know breed up some stags uh, because stegosaurs you can't get dismounted off the of stegosaurs and then just have a little bit larger rex army follow us through there. Um, so that's kind of what I have in my mind for plan B if we can't uh, if we can't use the karsh. Um, okay, so anyway, let's see. We were waiting for these guys to finish here. Turn that noisy thing off. And, oh, you know what? I need to refuel my tech generator. It's been a couple of days since I was last on. 
Yeah, I don't know what that checkered business is. It's always something, man. Always something, it seems. All right, that way we can use our elevators and such. All right, so let's do a little test and see if we can incubate. Or how many, rather, um, air cons it's going to take to incubate a Rex egg. It doesn't seem to be too hot or too cold at the moment in the ambient temperature. Yeah, my my dude here isn't very strong. I've put on almost all of its points into stamina. Um, but you know, it's it's a good transportation dino. It really actually does work very well for that. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna plop this down any old place, and we'll put that in and turn it on. And oh, do I need a foundation for these? I don't. Nice. Okay. So let's try one first. I don't think one's going to work in any case. Uh, why? Okay. Why does my toolbar not show this as a fertilized egg until I go into my inventory? It's weird, man. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Oh. Alright, it's incubating with just one aircon. I mean it's right up against it though. But you know, we'll we'll take the other ones with us in case, you know, just in case we need them. Okay, so that that part of the plan should work fine. Um pick this up. Grab the fuel. My uh, my muscle memory is in uh, enshrouded mode right now, so I gotta remember what keys to press here. Yeah, once I can figure out that smooth glass, I'll probably change all of these windows to smooth because I I just I don't like that kind of louvered look on the greenhouse it's just uh not a fan you know I, and I, I know a lot of other people don't really care for it either just from watching other youtubers and stuff <coughs> all right so um what are we doing i think we're mostly just waiting uh on these rex eggs to to incubate Oh, and I should probably throw you back down so you can keep going as well. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Did I grab those those gates? Whoops. Stop it. Uh, no, I didn't. All right, I'm going to get... I'm going to wait for those Rex eggs to finish... And kind of get everything loaded up. I think we'll 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 probably take the rhino up there. Um, oh, one other thing too is I do have um, some pretty nice saddles. Uh, no, not rhino saddles. What am I doing? Cart saddles. Or wait, do I? I think I do. <gasps> Carch. Carchero saddle. Hmm, I thought I had... Maybe it's Blueprint that I have. I mean, even that sounds not terrible, but... Um, blueprints. Let's look in the Blueprints. Yeah, okay. So I do have some pretty nice Ascendant uh, Karch saddles. Um, and we could actually make one of those, too. I'll tell you what, though. For the moment... 
let's just go with this one for now, especially since this is kind of a low-level one in anyway. But, uh, you know, if we end up taking this particular one into the tech cave, which hopefully we can find something uh, or breed something a little better, we'll definitely, you know, make the Ascendant saddle for it at that point. Okay, so yeah, I'll uh, bring you guys back when we're ready to set out and see if we can capture this thing. Okay, guys, we are ready to go uh, give this a try. So I've got um, move over those over there. I've got all these Rex eggs in here. They're all right around 30 seconds or so uh, for incubation. We've got our air conditioners, our generator, our gates, our traps, and let's see what happens here. This is my very first attempt at ever, you know, ever taming a carch. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to say the least. Uh, I guess our first decision is to try and figure out where we want to set up our cage for it. And speaking of which, I want to make sure and have these on the toolbar so we can quickly set them down when the time comes. Um, you know, the, <clears throat> the thing that makes taming these bastards complicated is that, um, you know, they're always up on these mountains, and so there's not a lot of good terrain to, to do stuff with them. But <clears throat> what we might be able to do is, you know, kind of maybe either pull it off the mountain or see if we can actually tame it on the path. That's going to be a little tight, but we might be able to make that work. Um, okay, so, yeah, the thing is, is it's just, it's so narrow around here. I wonder if we could just pull it off the mountain, even maybe down to, like, this spot. This is sort of kind of flattish here. You know, the other thing I guess I could also try... Could also try to just... Tame it, you know, without trapping it, but... I don't know, that could be... That could be a death sentence, you know? Um, I mean, this spot here could potentially work. What about... Yeah, it's still just a little steep right here. We might... I wonder if we could pull them down even further. Down to maybe like this spot. Okay, let's keep that spot in mind. It's just that the further away we go, the more of a pain in the ass it's going to be to get get the critter into the trap, you know? What if we tried to use this trench to our advantage? No, that's an idea. Hmm. So, okay, so maybe what we could... Well, the thing is, I don't know if he can climb out, though. Maybe this... spot right in here. We kind of block it at this narrow spot. Oh, yeah, I guess we could try this. I mean, it might work and it might not. Okay. Let's get these trees out of here. Come on, tree. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Ugh. 
Maybe two just in case. Just in case it kind of landed on this rock and launched off of it, you know, as it was going downhill kind of thing. Let's get, let's clear some of the, this stone out of here too. I guess that's not mineable. What about this? I don't think it could glitch through here, but let's just put a, a gate here anyway to be on the safe side, uh, except for it's not to... Uh, It seemed to work better when I was snapping it, because then it'll actually do that. Okay. I mean, it's, yeah, there's no way it's going to fit through there. Um, and probably not through there either, but we'll put gates anyways, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so let's also do a gate here. And a gate here. Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Yeah, that rock was cracked. Oh, no, I think it was this one up here that I wasn't able to do. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm almost thinking, though, we should make this opening a little bit wider than that. Because, you know, the gates don't have to be right up against each other. Mm, no, okay, hold on. Pick that back up. Make it more like this. And then push this one back this way a little more. And those boots are irritating. Okay, I want to I want to pivot this one a little more to the left also. Maybe more like this. And then we should be able to just yeah, let's make sure we unsnap. Oh yeah, yeah, we can pop this one there, then he's not going anywhere. Okay. Um now. What I think I want to do is put down a couple of bear traps. Maybe one here. And one here. So what so the idea behind that is that the he gets caught in the first one. And then, you know, he stays caught in it for what is it, like five seconds? It's not very long. And then as soon as he jumps out and starts moving, he gets caught in the second one. So it just buys us a little more time. Okay. All right, let's try this. Um, it might work beautifully, and it might be a complete disaster. We're going to find out. We got we to gotta be really careful with our, our Rhino, too, because this is not a strong Rhino at all. So, you know, it could probably take a couple nips, but not, not a bunch. All right. So we're going to need to... You know what? I'm not, I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking about this straight. Oh, there, there's the cart right there. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a level 20, but it is a female, though, so it could pop out an egg for us. We could probably just trap it right in here. Well, 
you know, like I like I did with with the gig. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's leave our current setup in place. But what I'm gonna do is let's let's put a gate down here. And let's put one here. And if we can just even lure it to this corner, then I can pop in a gate in behind it. Okay. All right, let's fly over here for a second. Yeah, this might actually be a lot easier to do than our first trap. Um, yeah, again, let's kind of do two traps like before, maybe even three. Okay, so the plan is to lure it down here and then pop this gate in behind it and trap it in this little section here. This this may not be as difficult as as I first thought. You know, we'll use the terrain to our advantage here. All right. Hello, Karchi Karch. Don't fall down into the lava. Okay, we gotta get it. Is it like trapped right there? Hmm. You know, it almost acts like it is. If we. See, I don't want it to fall down that way. It's it's actually kind of stuck. Hmm. If we could trap it there, how would we feed it? All right, here. Let's try something. Let's go back down to our first trap and, and just pull these back up. Because I, I don't think we're going to need this down here. I really don't. You know, how we are going to feed it is, I don't know. I don't know how that will work down there. But let's just see if we can trap it first, and then we'll worry about that later. All right. I don't know if it's going to let me do this or not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Where's he at? Oh, I'm trapped. We got him. Okay. Uh, or her, rather. She's not going anywhere. You know what I should have done, too, is I should have put the... I should have put my armor on first. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so it appears to be trapped in there. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's do that. What's the toggle resin armor's control C? Just in case we take a couple more nips. I'd kind of like to get it more down into the wider area. And then maybe, um, how's our health? Yeah, we're okay. Put one closer. Come on. Get up. I don't know what I did wrong there, but it didn't. Uh, how's health? 
It's okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So that thing is pretty good and trapped in there. And uh, yeah, this is actually a much better setup than uh, what I was anticipating. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do while it's in there is I'm going to park the radio right here. And we're going to hatch the gigas. I brought three of them. And just leave them sitting right at the end of the trail. And if three gigas isn't enough for a level 20 carch, then we'll just get the rest of it, you know, just by going and eating stuff. Um, okay, so grab that. Grab this. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Um, okay, so let's deploy this and deploy these. We'll just set them all up, might as well. Put some fuel in here. No, don't do that. Maybe we'll luck out and get some twins, too. Actually, you know what? I don't want them that close to the air cons. Okay. Now, I don't think, yeah, we can't, we can't claim them. Yeah, we can't claim them. Okay. Uh, Houston? We have a problem. What the hell? Um, actually... How the hell did it do that? Okay, hold on a sec. Okay. Well, uh... Look at you. Ah! <laughs> uh, no! 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 Oh. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay. Um... Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Now, what we're going to do is grab the Rex eggs. Okay, and then let's throw a couple of these out. I don't know how many of this it's going to take for a level 20. It's got 13 seconds, 4 seconds. Oh shit, I forgot those guys would get scared and run. Alright, well we'll have to chase them down later. Okay. Here we go. If he starts to sniff, or she, I keep calling her a he, sorry. It should, that means it's ready to eat. But it still seems to be, like, aggroed.
Hmm. All right, how do I get it to go into sniffy sniff mode? Okay, well, all the gigas are still in the vicinity, so that's good. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. So I think what we do now is we just... That's not what we were supposed to do. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I, I was trying to drop it. I, I think I... I don't think I need to get that close. So... Yeah, that was just... That was kind of embarrassing. All right, let's see. Let's just jump on an RG and head back up there. Oh, my God. That was funny. One bite, and I was dead. All right, let's uh, quickly grab this, take everything back away. Now, um... Hmm. It apparently ate it, but I don't see the... Oh, damn! That thing's got some reach. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see the, the Rex corpse, but I also don't see the meter that says it's starting to tame either. So, maybe it, it's canceled out when you die, huh? Well, see, I see these guys are going to succumb. What if we do this? Do I have any meat on me? I don't. Shit. Do you have any meat on you? Yes. Okay. Let's let's claim and get some meat in it real quick. And then we'll have to unclaim them. when the uh, time comes to do our thing. Okay. No, everybody stay put. And everybody stay passive. I think that my, um, I think my keys got remapped. Okay, so hopefully they will stay alive. Um, now, the other thing I should do is put a bedroll or a bed down up here. So if and when I die again, we don't have to come all the way back up here. So, Okay, how about if we just plop you down right here? And then we will put a bed here. And one here. Good enough. Okay. So now we have a couple spawn points back up here in case we get kilt again. Let's um, give these gigs some more food to keep them alive until we're ready. Okay. I think we're ready to resume here. So I got to set that thing down. Uh, I gotta set the wrecks down a lot further away than I was before. Those things have a crazy range on them. Uh, no, don't put that there. Put it here. Okay. We're gonna get you. Yes, indeed we are. Even if it takes killing me ten more times to make it happen. All right, here we go. Are you sniffity sniffy? Okay, sniffity sniffy. Okay, let's put this down right here. Is it close enough? Uh, okay. I don't think I put it close enough. Damn it. Oh, no, he ate it. Okay, cool. Um, am I? 
Am I missing something on my HUD? Aren't? Uh, am I supposed to be seeing something? Because I think it's. I think it just worked. Uh. Can I get on it? Oh no 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 no. Okay. I, I thought we were supposed to have some kind of meter that popped up. Am I... Alright, it's it seemed happy that I fed it something, but obviously it wasn't ready for me to jump on. I, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I thought we were supposed to have some kind of thing show up on, on the HUD. To show us, you know, like the progress. Um, but I'm not seeing that. Um, okay, well... Let's go ahead and grab another Rex. Do your sniffity sniffity thing. Sniffy sniff. No sniffy sniff. Uh, hello? I got a tasty morsel here for you and I'm not talking about me. What the hell is it doing? Okay, let's just wait a second. You're gonna do a sniffy sniff? Alright. Time for a coffee break. I wonder if it being trapped screws it up somehow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it ate it, and it bit me in the process. But I'm actually not hurt that bad. Um, but again, I have no idea of knowing where it's at in the process because I have no meters or anything. I wonder if it's the trap. I wonder if you when you trap it, it just screws it up. Uh, okay. Well, let's just keep feeding it Rexes. Um, obviously, I can take one bite without getting killed. That first one, man. I was one-shotted, but maybe... I, mean, I don't know. Was my health down or something? I'm not sure. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, sniffity sniff. Good, good, good. Uh, release the body. Ugh! Okay, let's see if it comes... Comes back and eats it. Yes! Are you... Oh, shit! I was gonna say, are you my friend? No, not yet. Okay, everything seems to be working except for... There's no meter. Which really has me concerned. Okay, here we go again. Sniffy sniffy? Okay, it just did sniffy sniffy. There! There, there, there. Okay, good, good. Okay. It was working, it's just that I'm not getting the meter, and I don't know why. All right, so now what we want to do is um, unclaim you. Okay. Um, hopefully my flyers will be okay there. Here we go. <laughs> okay. He got stuck there. Okay, we're at 45%. 60%. Okay, so... Uh, 
All right, so we got 60% of the way, way there with three baby gigas. Okay, you guys are just going to have to stay up here, and we're going to have to spend the rest of the time just going after wild stuff. Taming effectiveness is 100%, which is great. I don't know, do these guys take, like, rage damage? I'm not sure. Hopefully not. All right, so that means that we that we definitely could have gotten it fully tamed with, um, you know, five, probably five and a half, or well, six, baby gigas. So that's good to know. Let's go get this theory. The bigger the critter we kill, the more effective it's going to be. Okay, that got us to 67. There's an aloe. Aloe's over here. Seventy-six. Okay. Eighty-two. Eighty-seven. Uh, I thought I just heard a mammoth or something over here. Yeah, let's go. Uh, where am I at? Hey, you little bastard. Ninety-seven point eight. Sounds like a radio station. Ninety-seven point eight. Car contadors FM. I know that was bad. This should do it. Let's kill all of these. Woot! All right. Your name is Karchi, except for that. Um, Karchi. Karchi. Kind of. Okay, awesome, you guys. We have tamed our first Carcontadara Sorosaurus. <laughs> She's uh, level 27. Um, so, you know, low, lower level, but it's a start. And she's a female, which means, I believe it means we have a chance uh, to get an egg from her. Uh, even without a male, it's not a very high chance, but it is a chance. Cool. Okay, so let's um, head back to our the rest of our gang. Man, those things are so wicked looking. <laughs> Nightmare fuel, man. Um, yeah, so let's head back to the rest of the team here. And then... Um, yeah. I, well, in fact, you know what? I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here just because uh, this has probably gone kind of long. So, um, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And uh, I'm not sure when, um, you know, when we'll do the next episode, but we will figure it out. And I'm going to continue looking for... Wait a second. Is that a... Oh, it looked like there was a, um, a rhino over there with the wings flapping, but it's just the way the graphics are flickering in the trees. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to keep looking for more of these because A, we need a male ideally and B I'd like to find something a little higher level than this um, you know for the for the tech cave so that is the plan are you not following me why aren't you following me are you stuck okay anyway um, so yeah we'll catch you in the next one bye bye